Hey Bass Fanatics, Den Herring here from Fish Den 365. Recently I placed a Bass Pro Shops order and I thought I'd do an unboxing for you today. We're preparing for the summer to fall transition. So most of these items are related to that summer to fall transition. Thought I'd share what, I'm, what I purchased so you can get an idea of how I'm thinking about the game we call fishing going forward here as we get into this transition period. All right, let's get this thing opened up. First thing I got is a Bass Pro Shops Carbon Light 2.0 reel, uh, identical to the one I already have. I'm going to pair it up to an identical rod, the same as I have this other reel paired up. It's a it's a Dobbins Fury, seven foot heavy action with a fast tip. It's my frog rod and I wanted a second one so I can have a frog rod and also fish a toad. It'll also be a good heavy jig rod or a large swim bait rod or even a glide bait rod. So I can use it for all those things and it casts like a dream with this carbon light reel. So can't wait to get my second uh, setup that way. Looking forward to fishing with that. All right, let's show you what else. The rest is all fishing lure related. So this one is a particular biffle bug that I have interest in. It's a gizzard shad color. So it's got that uh, grayish bluish hue to it and lighter belly. And I thought that that could be good for drop shotting where there's alewives and gizzard shad. Looking forward to trying that. had to get this KVD bull worm. This is a uh, very good worm from what I understand. I wanted a big worm. This will be good in summertime too, but looking for some larger lures right now. We're getting into late summer. And so everything's growing bigger and the food items are bigger. So it kind of pairs up nicely for that. Also got a four inch Rage Menace. This one's in KVD Magic. This is gonna go very good on the back of a jig. I can make a, a very nice trailer on the back of a jig. I really got it to be a swim trailer, a swim jig trailer, because these tails on here kick like crazy and it just gives a little bit of a different action than the swing impact fats that I like to use. Same thing here, these are like a pearl color. They have, uh, actually it's called Glacier. It's almost uh, clear, like a clear white color. Pretty nice. It's another pack of gizzard shad biffle bugs, but a smaller size. This is the 3.5 inch size. And just a second one of the 4.25 inch. I got two packs of that. Got some watermelon skirts with black flake. I actually thought I was getting watermelon in black, but it's just black flake. Lucky Craft Crankbait. This is a shad color crankbait. Pearl Threadfin Shad. Looking forward to getting that out of the box. You know how I like these square bills. This is a Berkeley crankbait called a Dredger. It's supposed to get down real, real deep, real, real fast. Thought I'd experiment with it. I like the look of it. It's got a slow rise and it's chameleon pearl is the color. Good shad color with some chartreuse underneath. Got a Yamamoto Zeiko here, we'll show you this. This is another jig trailer lure that uh, I think will go good on the back of a jig. It's got some good shad profile to it. It's got some beef to it too. Looking forward to putting that on the back of a jig. Make a swim jig with it. Or the other place you could put that on real nicely is a chatterbait. Works real well with a chatterbait. Another square bill. This one is called Copper Green Shad. I like that color a lot. That's really nice. Got 
Got a couple of half ounce football head jigs here. These are black, green, no, black, brown, and amber. So a pretty good uh, imitation of a crawfish here. Black, brown, amber, half ounce football jigs. I'll be throwing these. It's a good time of year to throw football jigs. Another watermelon black skirt. Here's a bluegill colored rage menace. Looks a lot like the bluegill color on the swinging back fat. So again, this will be a real nice jig trailer for me to, to try out. Here's a third jig, another football head jig, just like the others, black, brown, and amber. Little tiny KBD 1.5 crankbait. Or actually this might be a 1.0. Anyway, it's a very shallow runner and a small one. Then I got a a Bully Wa 2. This is a River to Sea Bully Wa 2. It's the it's the next generation frog. It's got a real nice keel on the belly, so it's easier to walk the dog, and it's got a good size. So this is a good larger profile frog. Pad fishing is going to only get better from now right into November. It's nice to have a large size frog to focus on those big bass. Here's an interesting bait. This is called a sticko. So it looks a lot like a senko, but it's got this forked tail. And this is made by Bass Pro Shops. And uh, I thought I might play around with this a little bit. Uh, it could be very good in the river. You could do a lot of things with something like this. You can use it as a trailer. You could uh, fish it on a drop shot. Um, you could fish it with a lead head. You can fish it on a Ned rig. All these things uh, would be good for this particular bait. And the color on that one, it's an interesting color. It's called the General. So it's kind of got uh, some green pumpkin in it. It's got some green flake, metallic green flake, and uh, almost like a dark cinnamon or root beer color to it too. So I, I like the color. And then lastly, I got a sun protector. This one is one that just goes right over your face, right up under your glasses and goes right down over your neck. So this will protect your face, neck, and uh, ears from the sun which is for me a good thing because it's just a pain in the butt for me to be applying uh, uh, suntan or sunscreen lotion. I really don't like this stuff. It's greasy, it's oily, it stinks. I'd rather use something like this. So that's it. My box is now empty. I'm going to take a moment here when I'm done with the video and fill it back up, bring it all inside and start going through it in a little more detail and figuring out my next fishing trip and what I'm going to use, how and when. Well, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Sometimes these are peaceful to watch. A nice thing to watch sometimes before you retire for the night. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. We're certified bassified. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.